Make sure you are signed into your Past School account before uploading a CSV file. From the homepage, go to the Smart Send menu at the top of the page and click on Linked Accounts. At the bottom of the list, click on Upload a Spreadsheet. On the Spreadsheet page, you should see the three-step progress to link your account. To upload your spreadsheet, click on Choose to locate your file, then click Open. From the drop-down, choose the format of your measurements. This should either be centimetres or inches. Click on Upload My Spreadsheet. You'll be automatically redirected to the SmartSend tool where your items will be waiting. If you're using order reports from Amazon, simply download the file from your seller account and open it into a spreadsheet program, for example, Excel. Save or export this as a .csv file, then upload it to SmartSend. SmartSend will read the document without the need to change any column names. If you've never uploaded a spreadsheet to our platform before, it's best practice to use our example file to make sure your information is imported correctly. To find this example, go to the second paragraph on the Upload a Spreadsheet integration page where you will find the two links. The second link will download our example CSV file. Before we do this, click on the first link. This link will open in a separate tab or window and will give you a rundown of the CSV format we need to process your file. The rows in red are the fields we require in order to import the correct information. The column names can be named whatever you like However, if you choose to do this, you will need to map these out after you have uploaded. For example, if you choose to use cost instead of value, you will need to tell our system that this is what you mean. For best results, use the column names we have provided. So how do you map out your spreadsheet? If you do need to map out your CSV file, you will arrive at the Configure CSV Mapping page, where you can start to map out your column headings. In my example file, you can see on the left hand side the column names I need to find a place for. I have a heading named product. To map this name to Parcel Score's predefined fields, I'll drag the product to the relevant one. In this case, it's item name. I'll do the same for the item dimensions. Heavy is the weight, long is the length, and high is the height. I'll do the same for the remaining names. If you'll be using the same format each time you upload a spreadsheet, you can save the mapping by giving it a name. I'll name this My Mapping. Now I can click the Import My Items button. In the future, if I choose to use the same format for my spreadsheet, I can still choose my file, but I'll need to also choose a saved mapping from the drop-down. This will automatically do the work for me and take me straight to the SmartSend tool. I can make changes to this mapping by clicking on Manage. I can rename this or delete it if no longer needed.